All right, everybody, in this video, I want to share with you guys how to create those amazing and beautiful sounding beats for somebody like Tusi. He is very well known for making those emotional sounding songs, as he has also recently dropped a new album. We're going to try to make something similar. So let's not waste any more time. Let's just jump straight in. All right, so we are now here in FL Studio 21, as you guys can see. And for the first instrument we're going to start off with, it's going to be this grander piano in contact. To be completely fair, you can use whatever type of piano you want. But if you listen to a lot of Tusi songs, he is notoriously well known for using both pianos and guitars and you guys probably know I love using both of those instruments so we're gonna have the piano as our main part of the sample and then we are going to add a guitar later on but first things first let's start off with this one and switch the BPM up to something like 155 a little bit of a faster pace for this one then we are just gonna be working in the E minor scale and the first thing we want to do is just lay down an E minor chord So this is going to be our first chord. Although now that we have this, we also want to add a root note a little bit more down. So we are just going to highlight this E and pitch it down one octave as well. Then our next chord is going to start on the A. So let's go and do the same thing, just add a A minor chord right there. Now for the next chord, what we are actually going to do is going to be to start on the B. Again, we're going to make a B minor chord like this, but this time I'm actually going to invert this middle note. So I'm just going to pitch it up by one octave and then we can actually also pitch this B down one octave. So it's a little bit of a darker sound. Lastly, just copy this A over for the last chord as well. Hit Alt and S on your keyboard to make sure to strum the chords. And this is how our chord progression sounds. So it has that emotional vibe to it. Just to switch it up a little bit at the end, I am going to pitch this E note down one octave, just so it's a little bit of a difference from the first chord. Now that we have the chord progression down, let's quickly just add some effects to the main piano. So all the effects we're going to add to the piano is just going to be this Rome at about 20%. Then we also have a J37 just for a tiny bit of saturation. And of course, lastly, just this EQ to cut out those low frequencies and also the box in mids in the middle. Now that we have the main chord progression down, I'm just going to clone the same exact piano in a different pattern. And for this one, I just want to play a little bit around with the keyboard to see if we can find a nice and catchy top line. So for the top melody, what I really recommend you guys to do is just go over to this piano button over here and make sure to press it on. Then you can also right click on the button to make sure that you pick the same exact scale you are working in. So since we are working in the E minor scale, we're just going to pick E and minor over here. Once you have done this, you can literally just press any button on your writing keyboard and it's going to play a note from the same exact key. And to really write in those emotional piano melodies, I highly recommend you guys just slide your finger across the keyboard. So you guys might think it's a little bit silly, but trust me, it's going to work. All right, so literally all I did was just write something random on my keyboard. Now, obviously, I'm not going to keep this same exact pattern because it sounds a little bit messy, but I just want to keep some of the notes and move them around a little bit to really get that authentic vibe. All right, so this right here is what I came up with. You can hear that it keeps that emotional vibe to it. Alright, so you can really hear the top melody complements the main chords very well. And the reason for this is because we are trying to keep that emotional vibe going for the top notes as well. So the main thing when you are making emotional melodies, it is to keep some space in between the notes. So what I mean by this is that you don't really want to use a lot of half steps. So half steps are these notes that are right next to each other. That usually creates a lot of tension. So when you are going for more emotional stuff, you want to make sure to have at least one semitone in between. So you can see we have a lot of space over here, as well as we have a lot of space from this note to this note. Even on these passing notes that are very close to each other, we really just want to focus on having some space in between them. So I'm seriously just neglecting the half steps. Now again, for these small passing notes over there, I literally just slid my finger across the keyboard and it really made a cool sound like this. Then you also have to make sure to mess around with the velocity over here. Velocity is a very, very key when it comes to these type of samples because it's really going to give us that realistic feel to the piano. And it also really just makes it sound way better if the keys are played a little bit softer. Now that we have the piano pattern down, I think it's time we add a guitar. As for that one, I'm just going to drag in an electrical guitar phrase from Spice and see how it sounds. Mm, this is perfect, bro has that exact vibe we're going for. 
just to spice up the guitar a little bit, I'm gonna add this Guitar Rig 6 using the H Tape Delay preset. And then I also like to add a little bit of Rome just to give it some more ambience and reverb. Mm, now we have that authentic sound for the guitar as well. This just sounds beautiful. It's crazy. All right, now we just need to finish off the sample. So if you guys have listened to a lot of the 2C songs, he has some vocal phrases in the intros. So what I think we're gonna do for this one is just open up our kit and find a cool sounding vocal phrase. Then we can kind of have a longer phrase for the intro. And then later on in the hook of the beat, we can just use some elements here and there. So to find the vocal phrases, I'm just gonna use this in the open preset in the hooked bank. And let's just mess around with a few notes until we have a nice sounding phrase. I can take you anywhere. Mm. We don't have to stay here now. Yeah. We can use this in the intro. That's perfect. Let's just add some reverb to that vocal first. Alright, that is pretty much perfect for the sample. Now the last thing I'm going to do is just go over to my Imperial One Shot Kit. And I'm gonna go over to the percussion loops over here and drag in this Perk Loop 14. Mm, this is fire. This is gonna go crazy once we add some drums. Alright, so now that we have the sample finished, let's quickly add some drums. As for all the drum sounds I'm using, they are of course coming from my Euphoria Bundle Kit. So if you guys like the drum sounds you hear, you can obviously check them out. The kit is on my website, it's bbmarco.com, or you guys can just click the first link down below. Okay, so let's start off with this clap and snare. Just a simple and basic pattern. Now for this hi-hat pattern, I want to leave a little bit more space in between the hits. Mm. Yeah, so this has a lot of space in between it. I think I'm actually just going to switch out the hi-hat to a different sound. Yeah, so I like this one, it's a little bit softer. Let's go in and add some perks and snares. Make sure to mess around with the velocity. Let's go with those open hats as well. Alright, now I think it's time for the kick in the 808. As for the 808, we obviously want to have a little bit of a shorter hit, but I want one that punches super hard. So let's just drag in this one. Open it up, turn off loop points, but I'm going to turn the boost up a little bit. <laughs> That's nice right there. Yeah, that's hard. Let's do something cool on the end. Mm. Yeah, this is hard right here. Let's just add a kick to that 808 and that should pretty much be it for the beat. Alright, so this is the final beat. We have a pretty long build up in the intro. Vocal and piano. Shut up, Marco! Added a sub bass. Guitar comes in as well. And it drops. Second part of the hook. Mm, this is hard. Slows down for the verse. And it builds up again. Easy. Go down to a little bit of a bridge right here. 
no drums playing. Time to drops again. <laughs> 